Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to the Mada Custom Studio. Maybe for the last time, because I think today we're gonna to be able to sort of round everything off. We're going to be looking at those rear shocks. We should be able to get those done. We're waiting on the brake line still, unfortunately, but if they do arrive in time, we're gonna do those as well. Also gonna try and do an oil change. And I actually bought a window regulator for the front right. Now you may have seen that my front right electric window doesn't work. So um, that's a particularly annoying thing at drive throughs Actually, you may have seen in my video where we went to the Jaguar meet, I was at a drive through and it's very embarrassing. But anyway, we've got that. And hopefully if we have time to do all these things, we will do them. So it's gonna be interesting to finally get this all put back together and fixed up. And later on today, maybe we'll be taking it back on the road. So to first start with the shocks then, we've taken out the back carpet, put the seats down, all came up quite nicely, took the spare wheel out, didn't really need to, but it opens this whole boot area quite well. And here is then the top of the rear shocks. Now, I'm gonna watch the experts do it on this side before then attempting to do a shock on the left side myself. Okay, so the guys have done the right hand side. It came out pretty easily. The only thing is the track rod had to come out of here to make enough room for the shock to come down. But yeah, that's been done. What's crazy, if you come over here, we can see, yeah, here we go. Look, they've just put them, right. That's the old one there. Obviously it's still got the spring and the top mount on it, but you can see the difference there. Which I think just in itself is that's worth doing just because how shiny it is. So overall, like this was relatively easy to remove. It was just a 21 mil bolt down here. And then we've just got the four 30 mil nuts on the top. To get this out, yeah, it's pretty simple. And I just say, you're saying it's pretty simple, but now I'm about to have a go. Yes, yeah. And we're gonna see how pretty <laughs> unsimple it is. <laughs> yeah, but you'll be fine. You got the wheel off. I mean, you know, it's four nuts on there. You've only got one more bolt yeah. to go. It's oh, the same thing. I'm literally so. doing engine rebuild now, can't I? Yeah, there we go, yeah. <laughs> Right, so starting out with, Joel, uh, undo this track control arm, which okay. is the nut and bolt, this is the nut, this is the bolt. Uh, I'd put the ratchet on the top, hold it still, and then undo the nut from the bottom. And then that should just... I have no idea what any of that means. Pull out. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna help you as we go. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna undo this lower bolt, which holds the shock into the lower arm. Once that's out, then we'll just undo the four nuts in the top, and we should just be able to pull this out. I can't actually believe I'm doing this. Can I just do that like this? Yeah? But you got it. Hey. Then this comes loose. You all wanted to see me get my hands dirty, so this is uh, my attempt at that. Almost there. And there she is. Hey, look at that. It really is just a case of knowing where things go. Yeah and making sure you remember how to put them back once you've I think them. the most important thing is making sure bits go back on tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially when it comes to like suspension and things yeah. like that. So, so if you undo them four, I'll hold the shock. Okay. And then we'll just be able to pull it out. Need that music. Da -dun -dun. Da -dun -dun. There we have it. So I've sort of, by myself, removed my first suspension component. That's great. Look at that, it wasn't young. so bad, was it? No. I'm gonna put you guys out of business. But you look like a happy fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my first cat. <laughs> What's the, uh, actually, what is the lower bush like? Is that, oh yeah, that is the Oh look, that. Point. There is no lower bush, it's completely, oh, goodness. Yeah, perished. So we could have just replaced the lower bush, but with them being so rusty, yeah, it only made sense to replace the whole shock. And, and with the new ones being so shiny. Yeah, I think it deserves it. Absolutely, absolutely. Fantastic. TLC. 
now we've got to fit the new ones. So although I was super excited that I managed to remove the old shock absorber and wanted to put the new one on, first thing we had to do was take the spring and top mount off the old one to pop onto the new one before fitting it. I made a little bit of a meal of this, but with the help of Trav, managed to get this all done in around 20 minutes or so. I have to say, although that was very much assisted, having watched Trav struggle with the first one, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. And obviously with a lot of help, I did. So that is now ready to go back onto the Jag. Okay, so I left Trav and Rob to fit the rear uh, driver side shock, and now it's my turn to try and have a go here. Surprisingly, uh, I noticed when I was doing the spring clamps, it's pretty heavy, so it's quite a, a mission to get this back up, uh, not only in the right place, but to sort of hold it steady as well. So I've got Rob helping me, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do this between us, so should you have a go? In theory, all you've got to do here is line up the top mount bolts with the holes in the boot, which sounds very easy on paper. Keep going. Oh, right, that there. Yep. Hey. Although, believe it or not, I actually got it bang on. First time lucky, I guess. So once that's on, then we can, from the, the bush at the bottom, twist it into place here, and then we'll put on the uh, track rod. Once the shock was secured at the top mount end, I needed to line up the holes at the bottom. This bit was fun as I just got to hit things with a hammer. We got a jack underneath to support the bottom of the shock, then some more hammering. So this is what we're trying to screw in now, is this little bolt. We've raised the shock up into place here between the holes bolt through, we're just going to secure it and then that's uh, jobs are going to we'll tighten it up at the top as well and then we've got to put this back into place which actually we can do as soon as that's in. Yeah, actually surprisingly more straightforward than expected. And with some more tightening and a final dip of sweat the shock was in place. <laughs> Whew. Hard work. Finally, I just needed to re-secure the tie rod in place. This involved manhandling the brake assembly into place, and guess what? More hammering. Hey! Am I allowed to be a little bit proud of myself? Mate, 100%. Yeah. Mate, I'm, I'm, quite not, happy. I'm not picking holes in Trav's work shit, mate, but you did that a bit quicker. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> Trav's not in the room, that's very unfair. That's very unsportsmanlike. So presumably we've just got to um, secure it up at the top now. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Awesome. Done. Nice. So I'm not gonna lie to you, although I know many, many of you guys watching are far more mechanically capable and minded than I am, changing that shock more or less myself, obviously with the help of Rob, I felt so, so proud of myself. It was such a satisfying feeling. Unfortunately, the brake lines didn't arrive in time and also the day was getting on to the point where I don't think I had time to do the window regulator, but I still have that with me and I'm going to take the door card off and change that myself in a later episode. But now I wanted to do an oil change on the Jag. We've got some oil, we've got a new filter. Let's have a crack at it myself. So as instructed, the first thing to do was get underneath the car and remove the bung from the oil sump so that the oil can drain. Hey! Oh, it's so warm. It's like melted chocolate. <laughs> then I removed the oil filter, which was a little bit of a fiddly process, but with some help from the guys, this came off okay. Okay, so we'll just let all of that drain for a little while and then uh, I've got the new filter in here. This will obviously go back in there, bung goes back on and then we top it up from the engine bay. To most of you, this is probably all safe in the obvious, but to me, this is all a very new experience and quite a satisfying one as well. I'm finding this quite enjoyable. I replaced the oil sump bung and added a little bit of oil to the new filter before putting that back onto the car. I think that went pretty well. So, now I'm going to try and put this back on in a as least messy way possible. OK. 
Okay. That's fairly pain free. And now for the easy, although still important bit, we lowered the car back onto the ground and added approximately seven liters of oil, checking the level periodically against the dipstick. Finally, I checked underneath the car. There was no spillage or mess, so that can only mean a job well done. Okay, so here we are then at the end of, well, basically a several day binge on trying to restore the Jaguar into the best possible condition ahead of my upcoming wedding. And I don't know about you guys, I'm genuinely, although we've had a few letdowns with the rust especially, we wanted to sort of get that done. I'm pretty happy with where we got to. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty happy too. Yeah? Yeah. Thoughts, credit, feelings? Mate, credit due to you, you know, you got stuck in, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I genuinely am, give myself a pat on the back. No, but thanks to there these guys. Go. Obviously, <laughs> I've been able to like Come here, change a rear shock and do an oil check. You know, these are all things that, to be honest, you've commented saying, why don't you just do it yourself? And I thought, well, I'd never be able to do it myself. I know nothing about cars, but with a massive helping hand from these two and, you know, use of their facilities, it's been possible. And certainly going forward, I'm going to feel very differently about undertaking work myself on my car. So it's been a wonderful experience and big thanks to the guys here at Matter Customs, Trav and Rob for inviting me down and for collaborating. And of course, their video is now out and you can go and watch that. There's some much more in-depth stuff on the stuff we've done to the car, plus some funny behind the scenes stuff as well in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, a few of those. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this mini series and this video and we'll see you, probably all of us, very, very soon. So one thing, if you come to Matter Customs for any sort of work, you won't leave empty handed. Oh, there you go. Neither will they, because it's now on the floor. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, we've seen our fair share of rust over these past few episodes, haven't we?